Welcome to the tutorial about the new features of Mimex Protocol Simulation Software MPS V2. And the free PTP tracker and analyzer PTP track hound. In this tutorial, we will show you the outstanding capabilities of both the protocol simulation tool and the PTP track hound software to generate and display PTP v2.1 traffic, the upcoming IEEE version of PTP. For a better understanding, we will take you through a short simulation sequence. Therefore, both programs need to be installed on your PC. At first, start the PTP track hound. In the main screen, you will find four windows divided into the screens Messages, Devices, Message Details and Events. To configure the track hound correctly, select your interface. In this scenario, we select Ethernet 3. Now open the Domain Filter window and select the button None to clear the pre-selected domains. This done, select one of the desired domains. In our case, it's number 99. In the next step, open the MPS remote control. Make sure that the MPS service is still running. If it isn't, run it by typing MPS start in a terminal window. Now connect to your server. Choose the name root and no password as default and confirm with OK. In the appearing configuration window for the now connected servers, you can add a new simulated unit group. In this case, we start to simulate a Grandmaster. We choose PTP and one simulated unit. For our scenario, the TTL value is configured from 64 to 1 as this is the default for multicast traffic. In the tab PTP, you can edit the PTP configuration where the PTP version can be selected. The clock type is changed to master. Change the time stamping mechanism to two step. Uncheck hybrid mode to see only multicast traffic and select the button security mechanism to activate the new tab PTP security. PTP security is one of the new key features of PTP v2.1. The generated PTP traffic will be authenticated using the configured symmetric SHA256 keys. Another key feature of PTP v2.1 is the new standard development organization ID, which can be used to easily separate PTP traffic of different PTP profiles within a network. In this example, we select the SDOID 200. The domain number must be identical to the one previously set in the track hound. Open the tab PTP security. Choose an arbitrary security parameter pointer between 0 and 255. The SSP is a unique identifier for the security association to be used. In a real environment, the security parameters would typically be negotiated or signaled in the context of a key management protocol. MPS v2 can use up to four SHA256 keys to authenticate PTP traffic. The keys can be generated coincidentally in 32 byte hex strings. By selecting the appropriate key ID for each message type, you can define which key shall be used to authenticate the appropriate message. To enable PTP track hound to check the signatures of the PTP traffic, export the keys to a text file on your local computer. All messages that are not authenticated according to this scheme are discarded. Confirm your configuration with the OK button. In the MPS configuration window, our new PTP master is shown. Start the master by pressing the Start Group button. The generated PTP traffic now appears in the TrackHound software. In the Messages window, you can see your configuration. The interface, the PTP version, the SDOID and domain. The window, Message Details shows you detailed information for each message type. If you select one of the messages in the tab Authentication TLV, 
you will find the integrity checksum value, which is the actual signature of the authenticated PTP message. As you see, the lock symbol is yellow, which means that the signature could not be validated. To validate the authenticated PTP traffic, you have to import the key file. To do so, open File and select Import Key File to choose your saved key file. Now, the messages will automatically be validated. If the validation is successful, Lock and ICV will become green, otherwise they will be shown in red. To complete the scenario of the simulation, we are adding 10 simulated slave units. In the configuration window of the connected server, you can add a new simulated unit group. Choose 10 units and in the tab PTP, select the clock type slave. All other configurations have been adopted from the simulated grandmaster and do not have to be changed. Now you can start the PTP slave group by clicking on the button Start Group. The new traffic including delay request and delay response is shown. Simulated Grandmaster and slaves now exchange secure PTP traffic. Each side checks the integrity of the incoming PTP messages with the configured symmetric keys. Thank you for watching our short tutorial about the new features of Mindbreaks Protocol Simulation Tool and the PTP TrackHound software. For more videos and information, visit our YouTube channel. Mindberg, the synchronization experts.